What's up everybody and welcome to the 14th Java tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be creating a class and then we are going to be creating objects using a separate class. So the first thing you want to do when you're creating another class is have it accessible to your main class. So we have our main class right here right with our main method and we want a separate class so in order to do that you're going to want to go to your source folder and then click new and then class. Now in this video we're going to be making a bank program and what we want it to do is make new accounts. So we're going to name our class something relevant account. Now that we have our bank program and we have our account class. I'm going to change the view here. Okay. So what we're going to do with this account class is we are going to have it create bank accounts. That's what we're going to have it do. It's like a, similar to an ATM. So in order to do that, what do we have it do? We need to have variables. We need to have methods that are going to complete actions. And then also some sort of return for data so we can pull the data from it. Now when you have a separate class within your main, or that's accessible to your main class, you're going to want to have variables, but it's a different type of variable, and it's called an instance variable. Now what an instance variable is, it's, it's called an encapsulated variable. It's encapsulated, which means that it's only accessible within this class account. And in, in order, well, normally what we would do is just have string and name, right? So if we want to create a name variable, and obviously it's going to be a string, that's all we would do. We would initialize the type, we would set the name of the variable, and then either set it to something specific or leave it like that. However, in order to create an instance variable, you actually put, you put private before it, and that sets the privacy of it. It sets it that... It's encapsulated and can only be viewed by this class. So since we're going to be creating bank accounts, we're going to need a name, we're going to need an account number, we're going to need balance. Those are like the bare minimum to create a bank account. So let's do the same thing, private, and then for account number, we'll do an integer and just name it account num. And then also for balance, we will do private, double, and balance. Simple enough. So what we did there was create three instance variables within this account class. All right. So the next thing you're going to want to do is what every generally every class has and it's going to be a constructor because you'll notice this doesn't have a main method it doesn't have something that's automatically it's looking for it's just a class it's just a good reference to use for a class is it's a cookie cutter so what cookie cutters do is they're shaped a certain way and then you place them on cookie dough or some sort of baking and it creates the same exact replica over and over and over and over. If you have a star shaped cookie cutter and every time you use it it's just going to create the same star. Now what a class is it's going to be the same thing. It's, it's used as a very general and basic thing and it creates objects of identical um, attributes would be the word. So now that we have our variables, we need to create the constructor. Now what a constructor is, it's a method that automatically runs when this class is called and how you actually 
declare a constructor or set up a constructor would be public and then constructor legitimately just has the exact same name as the class. You'll see this is public class account and this is public account. So this is the constructor. It has the arguments, which is what you put into the object when we create it within our main class. And then it has, within the curly braces, it has whatever actions you want it to take. And usually a constructor is used to set variables and create objects, like set names, identify objects, set data of objects, something like that. So in the arguments of the constructor, you're gonna have whatever information that you wanna put in to create that object. So we're gonna have a string, an initial name, and the reason why I called it initial name is because whatever arguments I put in here, I'm gonna use down here, and that makes sense, initial name, so I'm creating an initial bank account, I'm creating a brand new bank account, so this is a, what I have when I created the bank account. And I'm gonna use whatever this is to set the value later. So I'm passing in a name, I'm passing in a number to set the account number. So that'll be integer initial ID. Cause you can call this whatever, these you can call whatever you want. And then double initial balance. So when this class is called, it's gonna immediately look for the constructor, which is account. And then whatever I passed into it, it's gonna use here for whatever I have in the curly braces. Now since I have these variables with no values, this is where we're gonna set these values. So name, which is this instance variable, we're gonna set it to initial name which is this, this string variable right here. Account num, which is the variable I created earlier, we're gonna set that to initial ID. And lastly, our balance. And we are going to set that to the initial balance. All right, so we have our variables that we created, our instance variables, and then we have our constructor. And what the constructor does automatically run whenever this class is called. So, and it, it's basically, it's, it's the same cookie cutter reference. So every time I call this class with the info that I pass into it, it's gonna create an object with a name that I pass in, with an account number that I pass in, and with the balance that I pass in. And one more method that we're going to create is just going to be public double and we just want to get balance. Now that may not make sense for right now, but I can explain it later. Return balance. And this is ba basically a getter method, so it's going to return the, the balance of the object. All right, and that's all I'm going to have for this video. In the next video, I'm gonna continue with the main class and then we're actually gonna start building the objects. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.